Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the COCAS Code IDE series and what we're going to be doing is just talking about what is COCAS Code IDE in this tutorial. We're not going to be doing anything else. So COCAS Code IDE is the official integrated development environment for COCAS 2D JS and COCAS 2D X, the Lua implementation that is of COCAS 2D X. At the moment it doesn't support COCAS 2D uh, X C++ but we hope they will in the future. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features that makes this a great choice of existing IDs such as Eclipse and Xcode or just using something like Sublime or any other text editor. Why would you want to use Cocos Code ID? For starters, it allows you to use a single ID for JavaScript and Lua for Android and iOS plus other platforms, saving you time in switching between IDs and setting them up. Also, you can just get used to the one ID instead of several different IDs. This is great as it will save you time trying to do a simple task which you find easy in one, even though it might be easy in another if you're used to it, but because you may not use it as much, because for example, for me, I use Xcode mainly compared to Eclipse. So if I go to Eclipse and I try and do certain stuff, it takes me a little longer just because I use Xcode. But if there's a unified ID, IDE, then that's good because you can just keep using that one. And also, another great thing about Cocos Code IDE, it's cross OS plat uh, compatible. So you can have it on your Mac, like we're going to be showing soon, and you can also have it on Windows. So you can switch between the different or the, the same ID on different OSs, which I think is just amazing. So yeah, one of the things is you have a single ID. It also supports live coding. A great use case of this is you run your game, you decide an element in your game, maybe a menu button is, would look better slightly to the left instead of coding, then rerunning the game, and chance you'll relaunch the simulator if you close it, because a lot of time, at least I do, j just out of um, habit, it's just something that I, I accidentally do, you can just code and it gets updated. This may sound like a small thing, but when developing for a long time and on a relatively big project, or a small project, these small things add up and waste time, which can be spent making your game awesome to be the next great game. Okay, the IDE also supports one-click publishing to APKs and IPAs for Android and iOS respectively. If you fill in your details, you can even generate App Store ready packages, which, which is phenomenal to have a single IDE to be able to do that. That is great instead of switch again. It, it, it goes back to the uh, first thing that I talked about having a single ID because that's one of the issues when you're publishing an application to the App Store. You go to one ID and you're used to that one, and you're able to get your app out in the way the that particular App Store wants it. Then you try and do it in another ID, and it just takes so much time because you're not used to it because that's not your preferred ID. But with this, not only do you have one ID? The process is actually very easy. It's very, I, don't know, I wouldn't say dumbed down, but it's simplified. One of the major problems I've come across whilst developing with certain IDs is that the intelligence is never the best unless I'm coding in Xcode and using Cocos 2D XC++. So for Lua and JavaScript, what the IDE, what the Cocos Code IDE supports it's terrible. For example, I've been trying to use JavaScript or Cocos 2D JS in Xcode. Telesense is not there. The formatting is terrible. So I use Sublime. And if I need to run an iOS project, I run it in Xcode. That's all I do in Xcode. Sublime, though, the formatting is better. The IntelliSense is pretty much non-existent for functions and variables that you haven't already um, accessed or used above and a lot of time IntelliSense you want it to help you with stuff that you don't necessarily know about so stuff that you haven't coded yet at least not in that project fortunately for us Cocos Code ID has really good IntelliSense let's talk about some of its highlights auto completion which suggests what you are writing and if it's correct or if that's what you want, you can click enter and save time. Code hinting, which is great when using resources as it detects the resources you have and the file structure, which is great and helps save time. So you can just like, be typing away and if I have a resource called player underscore run dot png, if I start typing in PLA, it'll come up with all the images or resources that have, start with PLA, then can be like, oh, there's only three that can, maybe the player, 
um, wall play run I could just like click down click up click enter and I'm all good to go and I also know it's the correct name simply because it's picked up the name instead of me typing it and then missing one character out or changing it accidentally C code snippets such as such as the uh, for loops it helps save time as well so if you're then I'm doing some sort of loop and you'll just get the overall structure of the loop so you can start plugging in what you need to instead of writing that structure again again these may sound like small things and they are but when coupled together or combined together they waste a tremendous amount of time and frustrate developers over time as well so not only will it improve efficiency and speed it's just gonna be an overall better experience Another sweet feature is one click instant debugging. Pretty simple, you click a button and it quickly runs. Plus you can debug connected devices, not just simulators. Coco's code ID can be downloaded from their website. Let's just show you where. So if you go to Cocos Co 2DX, uh, if we go to download, and right here, it's been released recently. So we've got download for Mac 64-bit, we've got download for Windows 64-bit, and we've got download for Windows 32-bit. The latest version as of recording this video is version 1.0.1. .1. And in the next part of this series, we're going to be covering setting up the IDE for Mac. So if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can directly message us via YouTube if you want to, or just leave a comment on this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.